James Kaufman, World News Report today, August 7th, 2025. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, we've had another M-Class Solar Flare pop off. It looks to be generated from our old friend 4168. Sunspot Group AR4168, which is still a Delta class Sunspot Group. So I get peaked right at 230, 245 UTC time, which is going to be right before 10 p.m. Central Time here in the U.S. Now, this has just occurred. I believe it's close to an M2.25. This is spaceweatherlive.com. They have it coming in as an M2.22, not yet assigned to a sunspot group. But I think that y'all will agree with me when we say it came from AR4168's sunspot group. We still currently still have a 10% chance of having an X-class solar flare, a 55% chance of having an M-class solar flare, I'd like to say towards the end of the day here, at peaking at 17.02, we had an M1, which is barely breaking into that M-class solar flare. And since then, we've had the M2.22 or 2.25. So that ship has sailed. We are maintaining a C baseline again. It's been a day or two since we've seen any Bs. So... We've got a hot star on our hands currently, and 4168, or Sunspot Group 4168, has not disappointed. Over to HMI Intensicram, we've got a couple of more complex Sunspot Groups. AR4167 is just about made its way around the far limb, but it's become a Beta Gamma Sunspot Group. We have 4170. Still has a possibility to be geoeffective towards Earth, as that's where our geomagnetic connection is to our Sun. That's 4170, also again a Beta Gamma sunspot. You can see that's orange. We have 4168, the one that's been giving us so much havoc. And all of a sudden we have 4172, also a Beta Gamma sunspot group. We also have four simple sunspots, 4161, 4173, 4165, 4169, and 4171. Any of them could be more complex, or could become more complex at any moment, and several of them look like they want to. Over it goes, solar ultraviolet imager, 195 angstroms. You can see that our old friend, 41... 96 has popped off that M flare and is responsible for the M2.2, 2.2, 2, 2.25 solar flare. It's hard to say if a coronal mass ejection was lifted from our sun, although I do see an arc of plasma. We also see several complex sunspots coming around the bend here. And we just about have a coronal hole earth facing. So we're looking for that one two punch in or around the eighth and ninth uh, from the solar flare that we had yesterday. And the CME associated with that and solar winds from this coronal hole. All right, over to our D region absorption prediction center. We had the peak of that last solar fur look like it occurred about 2.32 UTC time, which really would have been just after 9.30 here, centrally here in the U.S. And that happened right over New Zealand, Papua New Guinea, we'll say the Philippines and Japan and parts of Indonesia and even China. And that's going to about do us. It wasn't a huge inflare. It may or may not have lifted a chronal mass ejection, 
but it's one for the history books. And finally, whatever happened with Goes on the first continues to happen day after day. This is our Goes 19 core one, and it lights up. You can see the big chrome ejection, but I just don't know well, what the huge flashes at the end there are. There is no telling. Before they were showing the same picture that was on the first, but obviously this is not the first any longer. We're looking at August 6th, yet we're seeing just about the same situation. I'm sure that there is some sort of explanation for this. I just wish someone would let me in on it. That said, God bless. Please share and subscribe. And always remember, anything's possible. Bizarro world. God bless.